In this video, I will show you the differences between a major in statistics versus mathematics and which can make for a better major overall. The Bureau of Labour Statistics predicts that the demand for mathematicians and statisticians will rise by 33% by 2029. This is mainly due to the surge in data that companies have been receiving in recent years, that they need people with mathematical and statistical skills to make sense of. According to Payscale, the average pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in mathematics is $76,000, whereas the average reported pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in statistics is $70,000. The difference could be due to analyst-type job roles being more popular among statistics majors and software engineering being more popular among math majors, according to the data on Payscale. Analyst roles pay $60,000 per year, whereas software engineering roles pay $90,000 per year. Something to consider is that alternative majors such as computer science or computer engineering have higher average reported pay at around $86,000. This is likely to be because those majors are more applied towards specific job roles that have high pay, whereas both math and statistics normally need to be combined with something more applied to be as employable. Since mathematics is used in many different fields, a math degree should open you up to many different job opportunities. According to Payscale, the most common reported jobs people with a math degree report having are software engineer, data analyst, data scientist, math teacher, actuary, financial analyst and a data engineer. However, a math degree is a somewhat general degree that is not specific to a certain type of job in the way something such as computer science is to software engineering. As a result, it can be difficult to find well-paid job roles with just a math degree by itself. If you do end up choosing a math major, this means that you should take courses from the field that you want to enter, do summer internships and to complete projects related to that field as well in order to be competitive when seeking a job. Many math majors go into software engineering after graduation. If you want to qualify for software engineering jobs, it would help to make sure to take a class in data structures and algorithms, since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. It would also help to try to get some internships as a software engineer while in college, and to complete software engineering projects as an undergrad. The three most common reported jobs people with a math degree report having are software engineer, data analyst and data scientist. All three of them involve the use of programming so it would help to make sure to learn to program regardless. Currently, data science and machine learning are becoming very popular career paths among math majors and a math major can prepare you well for data science and machine learning jobs depending on the classes that you take. To qualify for data science jobs, it would help to make sure to learn Python programming, data analysis using the Pandas library, machine learning, to complete data science projects as an undergrad, and to get data science internships. If your university does not offer data science or machine learning classes, it would be necessary for you to study them on your own time using websites such as Coursera, edX, Datacamp, Kaggle or Udemy. It would also be important for you to show your skills with your own projects. According to Payscale, the most common reported jobs people with a statistics degree report having are data analyst, data scientist, actuarial analyst, software engineer, financial analyst and a business analyst. Much of the same can be said for a degree in statistics as with mathematics. It can be a somewhat general degree that can require more applied electives and self-studying in order to be competitive for more specialised positions. With that being said, a degree in statistics can be directly employable to analyst type job roles by itself. As with a math major, it would help a lot to take classes from computer science to help qualify for software engineering roles and to help when applying to graduate school for things such as machine learning, computer science or data science. It is also common for statistics majors to go into data science. 
Since the statistics classes can be more applied towards data science, statistics can be a better major if your goal is to get into data science. However, it will still be important to choose classes that are applied towards data science, to self-study data science and to take machine learning classes that are available. As a math major, some classes you can expect to take in your freshman and early sophomore years include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra, discrete math, introduction to computer science and introduction to physics. In your junior and senior years, you can expect to take advanced math classes including differential equations, abstract algebra, real analysis, graph theory, complex analysis, topology and number theory. The statistics classes in a statistics degree can involve a lot of mathematics. As a result, you can expect to take a number of math classes in your freshman and sophomore years. They can include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra and discrete math. After finishing the math prerequisites, you can expect to take a number of different statistics classes, including Introduction to Probability and Statistics, Mathematical Statistics, Regression Analysis, Statistical Learning and Time Series Forecasting. As you can see, many of the classes are the same ones as you will take in a math major. However, in a statistics major, you won't be taking as many of the advanced math classes that are proof heavy and you will swap them with statistics, probability and data analysis classes. This makes the stats degree slightly more applied than a math degree. However, something to be aware of is that if you want to go to graduate school in statistics, it would help to take real analysis. This is an advanced math class that many graduate statistics programs require. Another thing to consider is that different statistics programs will focus more on certain areas. Some programs will be more theoretical and focus more on traditional statistics classes, whereas others will be more applied and have more practical classes such as data science, machine learning and Python data analysis. The math major is generally considered as being one of the hardest undergraduate majors available. It becomes especially hard when you enter your junior and senior years since most of your classes will be proof based, which tend to be much harder than the more computational classes. When compared with a math major, you can expect statistics to be the easier major, which will not have as many proof based classes. However, it can still be a difficult major in its own right and you will still need to spend a lot of time studying. Companies are gaining more and more data each year and they need people with statistical data analysis and machine learning skills to make use of the data. Statistics is a more directly useful degree in this regard than a math degree because it will involve more statistics and data analysis classes. When compared with a math degree by itself, a statistics degree should give you an easier time when seeking a job, since it can be more directly applied towards analyst type job roles, but they do not pay nearly as well as roles from software engineering, data science or machine learning, so it will still be important to take applied electives in order to help qualify for more specialised positions. Also, statistics is generally considered as an easier major than a math major. As a result, you should have more time in a statistics degree to focus on things such as completing projects to help improve your resume, applying to jobs, applying to internships and doing research projects. With that being said, if you are looking to go to graduate school for statistics, it will still be necessary for you to take some advanced math classes such as real analysis and differential equations. It would also help to take some graduate level statistics classes in your senior year. However, there are some reasons why a math major can be a good major. Generally, doing well in higher level math classes will help you when applying to graduate school for things such as statistics or physics when combined with classes from the field that you want to enter. A math degree is also widely useful and can be applied to many different disciplines, but it is important to combine a math degree with more applied classes related to the jobs you are interested in.
if you do major in math or statistics. It would help to minor in computer science. The reason for this is that both math and stats majors often find themselves in computer science type roles. Also, in both cases, it will be important to take classes related to what you are interested in. Additionally, both math and stats can be very employable when combined with classes from computer science, data science, machine learning, and personal projects in data science, machine learning, and software engineering. Additionally, it is likely that neither degree will give you all of the necessary job-ready skills, regardless of which degree you choose. It is important to be proactive and to ensure you make up for areas where the degree lacks by learning job-relevant skills on your own time using websites such as edX, Coursera, Udemy, Kaggle, FreeCodeCamp, DataCamp or DataQuest.